My name is Sinetlantla Vilagazi. I am the CEO and founder of Vogawanele Integrated Marketing Solutions, which is a digital marketing and communications agency. And basically what we do there is that we, we help our clients, which is often brands and companies and nonprofits or government organizations, we help them create a solid online presence. And by solid, we mean we help them have an identity um, that people or their customers or clients can resonate with when, when they see you know, the, 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 the brand or the company online. And so we do this by developing content, um, be it through video, be it through copywriting, be it through, um, you know, newsletters or running paid adverts on, on Google or any of the social platforms. But we help clients um, to run such campaigns in the, in the online world. We know how difficult it is to stand out um, in this day and age because there's so many brands that are competing for people's attention online and so what we try to do is we try to set our customers apart and be heard in or through that noise and um, the reason why our company was birthed back in 2016 is because I realized that Small businesses often struggle when it comes to developing their own um, online presence. And when they try to reach out to digital marketing agencies, they often find them to be quite pricey. And so what Ivo Gawanele um, strived to do and, 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 and what we do even now is to provide companies with an alternative to hiring very expensive um, digital marketing agencies to assist in, in creating a, a, a web presence. So when, when we started out, we literally started out as a company that helps other small businesses only to develop an online presence by having pricing, which is, you know, entry level, Provided simple, providing simple but yet very effective and professional and efficient um, digital marketing services. But then as time went on, our pool of clients grew bigger and then we started serving um, more established startups. So we still work with startups, but also we started survey, servicing corporates and government organizations, I mean government <laughs> Um, entities as well as as nonprofits. So, and as much as the client base has changed, um, we we still offer the same services throughout. But then we have packages that suit each customer segment at and meets them at the point of their need. Um, and so, for us, our our mandate is is still the same, and it will never change. It will be to provide a, a, a platform or a way for businesses to, to position themselves online when it seems like it's too expensive or it's only for the select few. We say anybody can have a, 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 a web presence and we say we can make any company look good, whether you're a small company or a big company. The level of professionalism which we afford our clients helps them to be recognized amongst industry players, you know, or key players. When you get onto the online space uh, and, and the work or, or your identity looks professional, the next person or the person sitting on the other side of the screen might not even realize that you are a one or two man show. If your online presence is, is good enough, it, whether it be through you know, the content that you write or whether it be through the, the videos or the graphics or whatever it is that you produce, if it's on a world-class standard, then people are going to 
they're going to regard your company as 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 a company that you know is one of the the industry's players because impressions and first impressions make all the difference and so we try to create great first impressions or great lasting impressions for for our clients and um I know I touched on the fact that when we started, we did work for for small businesses, but we found as time went on that it's not just small businesses that struggle with their online marketing. It's also large companies because of the challenges that we are facing. Um, you know, our economy is strained. The country has been undergoing a lot of challenges economically, financially, and that affects businesses of all sizes. And so large companies also had to find, also found themselves having to streamline and outsource um, marketing to, to external parties just because they're trying to cut on their budgets. It's expensive to have an in-house person within any company Whereas if you can outsource your marketing to somebody else and, you know, it, it's less costly if you work with those people on a project by project basis or it's a fixed term contract or whatever it is that may be. And those people already come with the expertise rather than training somebody else to, to come and assist you with your marketing. So, yes, it was small businesses initially that had a challenge of hiring a person because of the you know the difficulty of being a small business owner and and strained finances but big businesses as well also found themselves feeling the the economic pinch and so what we do is we provide effective affordable and professional digital marketing marketing um, services across board our vision is really simple it's to connect it's to grow it's to make a difference and by connecting we mean connecting audiences to to brands connecting Um, audiences to companies or or services when we say grow we talk about we mean growing your vision as a as a business owner Um, when we talk about making a difference it's just about catapulting the businesses that we work with from one level of success to the next to you know to a higher standard and we also mean, you know, by connecting, growing and making a difference because of our business model, um, which is heavily entrenched or in collaboration, we, we, we connect to each other as, as other entrepreneurs and we, we work on a project by project basis. So every now and then, we will work with different it's either freelancers or we will work with other small agencies in order to deliver our offering so that in that way everybody gets a chance to you know have a piece of the pie um and our mission it's really to provide a cost-effective solution or a cost-effective alternative to hiring a digital marketing person in-house while still getting that superior value. We don't compromise on quality, ever. Our key services, it's social media management, it's email marketing, it's paid ads, content development, as well as copywriting, as I had mentioned. All right, our business model, I'd also touched on this. We work with different creatives. We collaborate with them on projects. And we. it also just depends on what the project needs. Sometimes a project might need a videographer and a, um, a photographer only. And then maybe a little bit of copywriting. Or you'll find that a project will only need website design and social media management or you might 
find in another case, maybe a project only needs copywriting. And so that's why our model um, is around collaborating and outsourcing creatives to work on projects with so that we can keep our overheads low and at the same time um, not overcharge a client just because we're thinking about the fact that we have to pay salaries at the end of the month. Clients are priced according to the service that they asked for and, and, and nothing more. So that is really one of the ways that keeps us um, competitive within the market. Uh, when it comes to adjusting or responding to COVID-19, it's, yeah, it's, it's really, really terrible what has happened. But at the same time, I am a firm believer in the saying that says, um, wherever there is, wh whenever there's crisis, there's also opportunity. And so while it's painful, what we are going through as a country, it also provides room for us to reflect on what we had been doing all along and to take stock and to see um, is this relevant? Is what we are doing going to be able to respond to this crisis and not just respond to the crisis today, but is it going to provide solutions beyond COVID? So we, we, it's just helped businesses and Andy Bugawanele in particular to think around how can we come up with ideas which are not or solutions which are not going to be a bandage, but solutions that are going to help our clients be seen as pioneers of change, even when the, the whole madness is over, if, if it will ever, you know, not if it will end, but when it ends, um, a lot of things would have changed and life would have, I do believe that there are certain things that will never be the same again. And you don't want to be that organization that goes back to doing things that the way that they had always done them before. So I think what I'm actually just trying to say is COVID has helped us come up with new ways of doing things which are very um, forward thinking. So in our solutions uh, before, we had had a lot of um, offerings which were and, and we still offer the same things, but now they are added features. So for example, when we um, pitch ideas to clients and you know we're writing our proposals, we also add components such as you know VR, AR, we add components um, you know where they can include apps to their work. We add, we, we make sure that everything that we offer um, is within the digital space because we're a digital agency, but we want our clients to also think of solutions that will help them thrive. And so when we speak about things such as AR and VR in some of their social media campaigns or you know on their websites or in their activations, that is already um, forward thinking or doing something which is not necessarily expected of a, of a, of a small um, digital marketing agency, even though there are a lot who are coming to the forefront now and providing such solutions. And we have found that, you know, when doing so, um, and I'll just speak for myself, when I go and approach clients for work, um, you know, during my sales calls, what I have noticed is that the most important thing on people's minds right now is how are you going to help my business survive COVID-19, you know? And what, what I have realized and, and what, what every, you know, 
business person should do when they are approaching clients is showing them how much you understand their their pain points and so because clients are going through a lot of difficulty right now it there's a lot of comfort that comes with you just listening to what they're going through and you providing solutions for the pain that they are going through without necessarily sticking to your script because it's so easy to come to a client and say oh we have Ugawarele integrated marketing solutions we do social media we do paid ads uh, we do content development whereas the client might need something which is slightly different and so if you don't listen well enough you might miss out on an opportunity to to service that client because you're so busy pushing what it is that you do rather than what the client needs right now and so i think that's just the the most important thing that we had to realize as a business now in our offerings to clients we've had to slightly tweak what we what we normally offer or the the five main services that we offer and provide a little bit of this and that which is is is, is different to the norm um and so i think just as a a, a takeaway to the next business owner who is thinking of you know how do i get to the next level of success within my business or maybe i'm speaking to a person who wants to get into digital marketing as a full-time business or as a side hustle the most important thing that i can say is that you you know you need to put yourself out there um i remember when i went through the first slump um, of COVID-19 within the first month of the lockdown my my business or our business also felt the the pinch of COVID-19 and clients pulling back on work and the panic that everybody else was feeling and so you go through that as a person and you need to embrace that but it's also important for you to quickly pick yourself up and put yourself out there again. I remember realizing how inactive I as Usne had been on LinkedIn, for example. And so I decided to put myself out there, one, as Usne, uh, you know, the co-founder and CEO of Ivo Gawanela. I did this on LinkedIn, but I also started being more active on um, the business social media pages um, and some people might feel that it's a little it's being a bit of a show off or being in their faces but you need to do what you've got to do to 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 stand out you know do it unashamedly work on it like you are working your job post something as often as you can connect with as many people as you can and i know if i can speak about a platform that really did wonders for me i would say it's linkedin because i got i've since within the past three months i managed to get two clients from linkedin from everything that i had been posting positioning myself as a thought leader and also connecting my personal profiles to my business pro to my business profile so there was always you know that continuation from one point to to another i built my relationships um, and so relationships that i had started offline i also made sure that i connect with those people online and i i make my achievements known and i make the business achievements known on social media don't be ashamed or reluctant to call um, networks that you had built or relationships that you had been cultivating over the years and say hey here i am um you know this is what i do this is what i can offer your business this is how we can work together this is the value add 
and, and, and so really it's just about business is a sales game. If you don't sell, you, you, you won't get really far. And even if you do um, rely or have a lot of referrals, that's fine. But when you've been referred, you still need to get to the client and prove why you were referred by you know a, a certain client. And so even there, you must sell, sell, sell. And like I mentioned, um, it's not about you. It's about what the client needs. Always be ready to adapt your your offering. And I'm not saying change your your, your core offering, but just go and 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 prospect and start conversations with an open mind. And then, lastly, have faith always. Have faith always. I won't lie and say I never had um, times when I wondered if I made the right decision by going into business full time and I thought maybe I would have been okay staying, you know, as a full time employee. Those times come, but you just need to ride out that period of doubt and fear and, and go on to the next thing. And things they do work out. You know, when you do have a, a, a passion and a skill to do something, you, you are bound to succeed if you just keep pushing, if you just keep knocking on doors and, you know, keep, keep keeping on. And that's really is, is it for me in a, in a, in a nutshell. Um, COVID will come, COVID will go. It might not go, but it's about how it is that you've positioned yourself now so that you are relevant even in the next um, 20 years. And with that, I just say all the best and good luck with your businesses.